like since then, like the gameplay has been so much more refined uh, to a point where I expect somebody like Esam, if he does get Yez off stage, I don't really expect him to be coming back uh, nine, you know, nine times out of ten. It's just he's just proven to be that gifted when he's on point. But you know, we ain't got to talk about it too much or, or wait for about that anticipation because we're getting into this first game uh, on Smashville. Uh, Yez and uh, Esam, they your bets, boys. Yeah, I'm, I'm super interested in the stage pick because we. I feel like the first thing you always need to look at when you you see an Ike on the stage is, is he on PS2, is he on Smashville? Because if right. he gets these platform extensions... Yep. It's Pikachu. So we'll see how it goes. I feel like these t jolts are going to be kind of oppressive because they go under the platform, they force Yez to jump, and then he's got the platform right under him, so Esim can kind of box him into the corner there, oh. and there he goes, stock's gone. Yeah, even with the, uh, the quick draw, there's not enough to get there. Now, one thing that Yez can really kind of put in his back pocket, he's going to have the advantage as far as like being able to take out those stocks a little quickly with that weight of Pikachu being kind of low, especially with those big follow-ups he's capable of finding. Yeah, but like the thing is, if he, if he doesn't have rage, you know, like that's, I feel like that's gonna be just one of his wins. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I guess okay. no rage required for that up smash. Damn, no, bro, he, he literally it. heard you commentating and called you out on that. And he said, I don't need rage. <laughs> you think I need rage to take stock? Get out of here. Big oh, charge down that up smash, gets the Aether again. Uh, a liberal use of Aether in this matchup, especially near the ledges so far. But the problem with that up smash is I don't know how much you're going to hit Esam with that. You know what I mean? You're going to get the one stock. You might be able to get more, but sort of similar to the Debuzz set that we just saw. I feel like he's going to have to work harder to get the KOs. The future Whoa! Huge oh on that quick draw. There's no wow. way you guessed that, right? Like, that was I just like... That was a hard I'm not ruling it out. I'm not ruling it out. He's made some insane call-outs throughout this, the entirety of this tournament. Just add that to the list. Oh, no. Hey, please, yes, yeah, get back on the stage. <laughs> it's like when me and Phil played boy just get back on the stage. Just stay in the center. Stay in the center. <laughs> God, thanks, man. It's just, it's it's so rough. And it, like, if you're getting gimped, guess what? You don't have access to You don't have access to rage because you're dying at 50 every stock, mm. right? And, I mean, you're, if you're e you're kind of mitigating the, the firepower, quote unquote, that um, Yes is able to bring to the table with a character mm. like that. Yeah, absolutely. Oh just oh, no. perfectly good reaction to that tech. Honestly, good tech by Yez and good SDI on that down smash. He got very high on that, but not quite enough to uh, get out of it. And that looked all ESAM other than a brief moment where Yez looked like he might be able to do a comeback, but jeez. Right, and it's like, look at the two situations, right? Like, okay, so Yez gets a stock because he hard reads ESAM at like 90 or 100, right? When yeah. ESAM gets a hard read, like Yez is dead at 40. We saw from that thunder. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I feel like it's so, it, it's so rough. And I'm not trying to say it's like impossible, but Isan's playing really, really good right now. And this, this off stage is looking just horrendous for Yez. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, like, I don't, I don't know, offline or, you know, offline or online, like, this is some of the consistently throughout this tournament where I've seen Isan play. This is some of the best edge guarding I've seen him do. Um, no question. Just, just, you know what I mean? Just like peak level edge guarding with Pikachu, really all that theory crafting, you're really seeing it. Uh, put to use in the gameplay, and that was just a, a straight up win it for Yes. I'm interested to see how he bounces back. I don't know if Yes plays anybody else besides Ike. Um, I'm not knows. familiar with that, but I don't know. Depending on how the second game goes, there might be some consideration going up in that third. You might need to think about it because I mean, you were talking about Esam's edge guarding. I would, I might venture to say Esam has some of the best edge guarding in the game. Because oh, like, because because most players will wait for you to get back, and then they'll sort of ledge trap you or stop your options there. But Esam will go out there with you, uh, just because Pikachu's recovery is so good. And I think Yez just wasn't ready for that, and he wasn't ready for sort of the burst uh, reads that Esam had. So you know, trying to quick draw into him and getting hit by that thunder—that is a haymaker of a shot. So you, we'll bro. see how this next one goes. It looks like we are going to—is that Yoshi's? Yeah, it was a triplat. It was a triplat. So was a triplat. Oh, oh yeah. Yoshi's it is. 
I know a lot of uh, heavier characters, I know like Music King will like to go here with Bowser and stuff like that, so you kind of have smaller blast zones, but you're like the powerhouse, right? So usually the heavyweight characters can get the uh, the tilt first. <laughs> um, and I like Yaz right now just really, again, just controlling the center stage. The Tijos are getting set up, but not really affecting the neutral too much. And I just want to touch on something. I don't even think it's necessarily just about being able to get the kill first. Like, how many times have we seen this stage, like, somebody, like, a heavyweight type character just cheese a comeback too, right? Like, you get a lot of options um, with these smaller blast zones and just a heavy hitter like Ike. So I think he's giving himself the best possible opportunity for game two. And really off to a hell of a start. Do you expect a quick... I wonder if he yeah. expected... Yeah, you expected quick attack back into him, I guess, with that uh, eruption, but it didn't happen. I'm wondering how the T-Jolts are going to interact with the stage, because we do know that Isim really likes Kalos, because those T-Jolts will go Ooh. along the wall. He's, he is going to have to worry about that when he's recovering, but doesn't need to worry about that right now, because he gets that first stock. All right, this is big, too. Very minimal percent as well. I mean, you know, 60-something, that's nothing in the grand scheme of things. Oh, but it, it might be anyway. tough, man, if you can't get back. Yeah, he got the double jump. He saved it, but off stage we go again. Double jump, quick draw is probably the most common Ike recovery, just because, sure. you know, he, like, it's probably just like, you have the most mix up, especially on a tripod where you can go to multiple platforms. Probably also against um, a character like Pikachu who doesn't like have the disjoints to challenge it. You know what I mean? He's got to like right. get in on you. He attacks with his head, so it's like you can kind of uh, put it out safely sometimes. But he can't rely on it too much, as we saw in the first game. Excellent Aether out of shield. Super right. good. Man. It ain't cloud, but it gets the job done. Yeah. <laughs> good enough, man. Get out of jail free. Get out of jail free. Yeah. Does have armor. It's like the nice. mountain lion to uh, Cloud's Mountain Dew, you know? Like, it's, just, it's yeah, fine. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bro, I am really to... liking Yaz right now. He is, yeah. He's been sensational. You see him having to approach him and come in has really not been working out too well. Yeah, this spacing is get, definitely giving me uh, some Leo vibes. Like, Yaz's yeah, spacing is incredibly well. And just to make sure you, you're not getting snatched up from Pikachu is very, very important. And Yaz is just staying away from this rat and just spacing all these. There's wow! I thought a back was coming. Oh, yeah, I thought oh, hey. he does it's a land it. Let's do that. Yeah. Yes is so like he's just so undeterred. You saw Esam trying to go for like a little bit of a of a trick on the left side. Once he's off stage, he'll throw that T jolt and he'll pick a wake up option. I'm sorry, get up off the ledge option that's sort of aligned with it. So he'll run in with it, force you to shield, try to grab you. He'll do it here. See, so he's trying to get you to shield with that T jolt that goes along the ground. But yes is consistently ready for it. The problem is he has to air dodge here, but he only takes enough air, not too bad. It's actually really good DI while he was getting pushed out there. He was DIing like up and in. So he ended up like kind of on top of Isam. Isam not really expecting that DI. And I mean, because of that, now he's on stage. He's still taking a lot of damage, but yeah. he's on the great journey on stage. Oh man, this is, this is huge for Isam. He's pushing this. What better pressure he's been able to put on. Great. It's like a forward smash. Bro, and it's like, even if Isan doesn't get the KO when he throws um, Yez off stage, it's like, he usually at least gets 50 plus damage. Like, he's getting yeah. a lot of damage and hitting him back out. And it's just like, oh, well, you got back on, but I'm still getting so much mileage just off of this off stage. Yeah. Oh, tries to go for That's the amazing. back air. And, and that last stock, oh, yeah, he's going to eat that forward air. That's going to do it. Yeah. So I. Or. No, he's alive. Oh, no, he's still alive. Okay, sorry. We had a we had a delay there. Okay, there we go. That better kill. That better kill. Okay. It feels like every time a uh, character blows up with a kill screen, the game stops. Yeah. Like. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Our feed just blows up. B mix literally just decides to take a selfie during it. I don't. I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> I don't know like, why. But it had it. <laughs> Man, I, I guess I guess ultimate's out here faking out V mix. I, yeah, yeah that threw, that threw me off, bro. I that uh that forward air I had no, I thought that was gonna do it, but the up smash definitely um sort of keeping in the in the theme of the event, it felt like that third stock, Esam was just sort of like he was like running the ball, getting a couple yards here, a couple yards there. He got that Hail Mary on the forward smash, and that was looking good, but didn't have enough to bring it back at the end. Got hit by the up smash, and yes, uh he really established a big enough lead so that it didn't matter if Esam was coming back. You know what I mean? Like yeah, at that right. point it's like it's done. Yeah, I mean, Isan's out there was just a very clutch sub-40, sub-50 edge guard, right? And that time, especially, I want to really point out on the first stock, 
Yez's recovery made it so he was able to like lift the 180, eventually died from an up throw, but he utilized that rage to really snowball the lead into his favor on the first and second stock. And that was like, obviously his neutral spacing was good, but it, it, it was more important that he got just got back on stage and held on stage. Solid all around, man. That's kind of what you want out of your counter pick, right? You want to be able to, uh, you know, that was that was the great difference, Mick, was the fact those blast zones were smaller. And he played it, like, immaculately, you know what I'm saying? Like, even when he Sam kind of towards that last stock was crawling back a little bit, he didn't let it get too far away from him, and he was able to close it out. Uh, even with that false finish we got the first time on the fair, see would find me up, smash the closer. So, prompting us to game three, which is going to be on town and city. That's all and my little out there. You see three platforms now, chat, but they will soon exit. So, man, I mean, Yes might be exiting soon, too. Oh, that's my right. God. Yeah, that air dodge was oh, scary. Oh, he didn't survive, yeah. But yeah, he, he had his double jump. There. No, yeah. I, I thought it was going. Like that, no, he air dodged that, first, that's yeah. Slippery, bro. So slippery. You think he's exhausted something, he just has it in his back pocket. You gotta be yeah, tricky if you're playing Ike, bro. Yep. I mean, so many times when, when I see someone just resort for a directional air dodge, it just kind of feels like they have no double jump, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I'm um, so really just looking at trying to, the tone he's trying to set, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. It's like, oh no, my double jump got eaten. Like, don't hit me. It actually hit me <laughs> so I can jump quick draw. Like, that was really good. Forward tilt there. Esam gonna try to recover. Goes to the platform. Yez wasn't ready for it, but still has him pushed onto it. See the drag down forward air from Esam. Up air, not gonna be enough. Esam going to center. Yes, is trying to chase air. him down. Couldn't connect. Oh, oh. Bro. Up and go. He stopped as stock goes. That's what Esam does best, man. I think there's no rage one air. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, with no rage. It's, okay, you landed the neutral air. There you go. Yep. <laughs> It's like uh, it's like getting that grab confirmed with no rage. Like, oh, I have no rage, I'm sick. My yep. confirms are all online again. Ooh, uh, wow, that's a yeah. damn very good aether. Yeah, twenty, almost twenty-four. That is so close. Jeez. So much damage there, and uh, we see like Crom's do that a lot. I don't think we really saw Ike's do that that much in the past when we saw the character more. Uh -huh. um, but definitely see it why he would use it against Pikachu so much because Pikachu is just sort of assaulting your shield very often. And it has so much armor. Let's see if he can recover. Gets into the forward smash. He's gonna have to quick draw. He gets oh, it. He barely I, makes it. I, I, I oh, it was actually. Oh. Party just kind of delayed it. Actually made it more difficult for Ethan to even try and line up an edge guard attempt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that was that was really hard. And I mean, we said it right. Him like yes, recovering is the most important part of this, and he's showing us time and time again throughout all these games that he's able to recover even against someone like playing Pikachu, even the best Pikachu. Oh my god, right there. One of the best head carters. That was so good. He just held onto the quick draw like right outside of Esam's range. And uh, Esam just didn't quite have the range on that neutral air. Yeah, his recovery has just been phenomenal this set. Oh, that's dead. Oh, just out of range. Too much rage? Maybe. He's gonna call the break there. Oh, it's the back air, however. Oh, wait. Oh, that's a two joke confirmed. Doing the forward tilt, not quite enough as I'm stuck on the platform. Bro, yes, finding a way back in the me. back air. I like the movement on the right platform with the quick draw. It's like, oh, am I going to it? And it does it on the platform. But I mean, regardless, these time just gets the fair. But that was such a great move from Yez on that right side before he got that back. So, oh, this man, Ether, is that go to. <laughs> yeah. For good reason, there he ended up behind Esam. He only took nine, really, which is really surprising. If Esam gets one back here, usually he'll get two or three. Yez is going to take advantage of that as much as possible. Has him up to almost 70%. Is Yez about to take game three on Esam's counter pin? Mm. Kind of think oh, wait a minute. We don't want to go down there. Oh, no. What? Bro, I so so chat, listen. When that happens, when the screen like goes into the, the, the KO thing, the game freezes. So we're like, okay, can he jump it up B? Can he did he get spiked? Can he make it back? The answer was no. Esam robbing that game. Yes made one mistake. It looked like he avoided the down air, and I was like, oh my god, yes, yeah, so good at not getting edge guarded. But then that happened. You sure. can also edge guard from the skies. Who would have thought? Man, like that directional air dodge down had to have been there. 
Like, I can't imagine a situation where Yez is like, yeah, I, I want to ever do that. Down to the blast zone. Like, <laughs> super unfortunate, but I mean, if you leave the wallet too far out, you're going to get robbed. It's just how it goes. That's tough, man. I mean, and, and you could tell, like, it, it's so hard fought on Yez's part, too, right? To just be able uh, to win neutral, keep stage control, and get those KOs, and for it to just end like yeah. that. That's tough. That's tough, but that's part of the game. So he does need to keep a good time to just rebound back. He already proved to himself he can win the exchanges. Pretty much should have won that game. Uh, but one critical error, he says not the type to let you get go unpunished for that. That was what I was sort of going to bring up is like a lot of people will make those errors and sort of they'll get away with it if they're, you know, better than their opponent, their po opponent isn't ready for it. Esam, the second he saw that jump, and he's doing it here again, the second he wow. smelled an ounce of blood, your leg is gone. He's just oh. taking you under. Yeah. And I mean, that's that's the punish game of top of players, right? They're they're going to take anything they can get for stock or for damage. I mean, this is what you have to do. And I mean, maybe Yez not so used to someone that has this keen of a punish game. It's a great white off stage, dude. And Yez is just not prepared. He has to hold center, like, constantly. And Esam, you know, at one out of every ten times you get a stock, that's still devastating, you know? Oh, Bro, this <laughs> he was trying to call him out for being super shook. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm just trying to get the hell out the way. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. So, yes, still with some fuel in the tank. Yes, I see the confidence in the smash attack. Yes, definitely not giving up just yet. Directional air the platform. Good stuff. The quick draw to get himself back on stage here. Oh, I love that. Reverse neutral air into the Aether getting 33% looking super good, but this is what it comes down to. He's got a... Ooh, the armor! Bold. <laughs> yeah. Very <laughs> bold. Out. I mean, he's got pretty aggressive, to be fair, so yeah. kind of throwing out an armor move. Uh, definitely uh, pretty pretty smart there. No block oh, but... oh, wow. These T-Joe <laughs> confirms are so good. You know what's funny? Part of me is wondering, like... It's gonna sound silly, right? But maybe Yez should be countering. Cause like, Esam doesn't wait to swing. You know what I mean? Like, right. where he used the Aether, Aether is probably just a better counter, cause you get the free damage straight up and maybe you won't get punished. But like, Esam isn't waiting. You know what I mean? Like, if you just throw it out, maybe he'll hit you and you get some free damage. And if it's a big hit like that up smash, that would've been a stock. That's true. That's actually, that's a, uh, an excellent point because you could just see, I mean, since, you know, since opening tips, it's just been in your face action. The man's right. W keys right in your face. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, and I mean, Yez not having an answer for that counter could definitely be it. But up and over the T Joe we go. The back here does connect here for Yez. On his last stock here, he needs he needs to clutch this out, and then he needs to clutch out the game five. But you gotta you gotta do it here first. So. Uh, you gotta. It's gonna take time, but honestly, forty-six percent is nothing against Pikachu. You were gonna take that from a grab anyway. So he's in a very good spot. He's gotta watch that quick attack though, because it puts him off stage every time. Tech that. Wow. Staying on the platform here. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't get punished. Oh wow. Could not. I thought that downer was gonna connect for sure, but a little too slow here. Up air, fair. Not gonna connect. The drag down, down smash. Catches the double jump, and I think that's it, yeah. Yeah, that'll wrap it up for sure. There's just no way out of that. Like, you saw the forward air into the... Like, it was rising forward air, juked that, falling neutral air. Yep. You got pulled into that. that. Yeah, there's just... There's so many hitboxes out, and he, he had to go to ledge, but he was nervous about going to ledge because that doesn't get you back on stage, you know? So maybe a little bit too um, ambitious there, trying yeah. to get there. Either way, great run by Yez, absolutely. And uh, taking game off Esam, and he almost had Bruh. a third game, or a fourth game, I can't remember, but he almost, or a third game, yeah, and it was just so close.